once again we are strolling along Mount Carmel Cemetery. We are coming up to the gravesite of one James Belcastro. Born in 1895 and dying on August 23rd of 1945, James is located in Section 32, Block 2, Lot 14, Grave 2 of the cemetery. Belcastro was an early Black Hand gangster. He was also an extortionist and later chief bomber for the Al Capone organization. Known as King of the Bombers or the Mad Bomber, Belcastro had exceptional skills at constructing homemade explosive devices. As a black hand gangster, he used these bombing skills to extort money from Italian immigrant business owners in Chicago's Little Italy district during the early 1900s. In the early 1920s, Johnny Torrio and Al Capone formed the Chicago Outfit and put the black hand gangsters out of business. With the black hand gangsters out of work, many sought employment with the various gangs in Chicago. In the case of Belcastro, the infamous Al Capone offered him employment due to his deadly skills. During the era of the Roaring Twenties, Belcastro was suspected of but never proven to have caused over a hundred deaths while bombing saloons that refused to buy alcohol from Al Capone. During the Chicago primary elections in 1928, also known as the Pineapple Primary due to the fact that there were bombs being thrown into buildings to explode the buildings, Belcastro launched a bombing campaign against the political allies running along with William E. Deaver. William Deaver was running against the Capone-backed Mayor William Big Bill Thompson. The bombings, bloodshed, and mayhem hit a breaking point when an African-American lawyer by the name of Octavius Granity was murdered. Granity was a candidate under Morris Eller who was running against Big Bill Thompson. Moving along, at one time, Belcastro was listed as public enemy number four. Belcastro was arrested more than 150 times. In 1917, he was sent to Bridewell Prison for assault. In 1933, a jury convicted him of vagrancy, but keep in mind it is unclear from records if in fact he did serve a jail term. In 1931, an assassination attempt was made on his life when he was shot a total of five times. At various times throughout Belcastro's life, he engaged in several legitimate businesses, which included restaurants, cafes, and tailoring businesses. Before his death from a heart attack, he was noted to have been taking part in a handbook operation with his brother-in-law, Rocco Finelli, who at one time was also on the public enemies list.